The Nice Guys organization held their yearly fundraiser event last week where they were honored philanthropist D and John Ammon as well as raised money for several nonprofits, one of which is the Salvation Army. Lieutenant Colonel Lee Lascano joins us now to tell us more about what the donations are going to go towards. As uh, I'm sure you were happy to receive the fundage, were you not, Lieutenant Colonel? Absolutely. We are so grateful uh, to the Nice Guys award ceremony and to this donation and the attention it brings to the great need that there is here in San Diego. So many people are still suffering from the pandemic and uh, loss of uh, income, loss of jobs, and the need is greater than ever. And we have, before we get started, how about that? Uh, our co-Nice Guy uh, recipients and all the different philanthropy that they uh, support, man, their, their story is, John and Dee's story is just amazing, is it not? Absolutely. Uh, Dee and John Ammon, of course, have been supporters of the Salvation Army. Dee is uh, part of our Women's Auxiliary Program here and on the uh, Board of Directors, and their support is so great. But what uh, the Nice Guys Foundation does, honoring people like them and an all-volunteer organization that helps underserved uh, people in San Diego all the time. Again, it's a great, great thing. And that gala will take place in October. We'll, of course, be there. But right now, let's talk about the money that is being funneled your way during a non-pandemic year. The Salvation Army is busy out there trying to help help the community. A pandemic just made it more challenging, did it not? Absolutely. Over this last year and a half, we saw anywhere from a 150 to 300% increase in requests, particularly for food. Our seven core and community centers all mobilized very quickly last March and began distribution and drive through and whatever it would take to be safe and gave hundreds and thousands of, of food boxes to families. In addition, our senior nutrition programs mobilized from congregate meal sites to home delivery and takeaway and gave close to 300,000 meals out over the last year. So all that sounds very expensive. The nice guys to the rescue a little bit? Absolutely, every little bit helps. And this uh, donation is just gonna be a tremendous boost to really be able to help continue to serve uh, the people that are in need. Does the new money help you do new things or is it just to su support existing programs? No, absolutely. It does support existing programs, but it also, any kind of influx of new funds really helps us to keep moving. For instance, uh, again, kids have been stuck in their houses and not had uh, an ability to go to camp. This year, we've mobilized to have day camps at several of our units here in San Diego County. That took an influx flux of new money. This will help those kids experience camp in San Diego County. Uh, talk a little bit more about that, Cam. What, what, what do the activities include? Well, typically we actually have in our division, the Southern California region, two residential camps. But again, this year, just to, to be safe, we're not actually sending the kids up to the camp. We have mobilized the camp teams and other teams locally to our seven core and community centers. And they'll do like day camps, outdoor activities, craft activities and uh, instruction to be able to help kids have a camp experience right here in their own backyard. How many people are involved in the Salvation Army countywide? Uh, well, again, seven uh, units, the, the, also the Dorf Hope Campus, which is a shelter for families, uh, some 300 employees. The Croc Center, of course, is one of the larger community centers, so there's a lot. But really, the Army behind the Army are the volunteers like uh, Dee and John Ammon and others that support us year-round. So there are thousands of people that work for the Salvation Army day in and day out. And thank the Lord for n the nice guys and all the people who... Uh, who help out, right? Absolutely, we're very thankful to them. All right, Lieutenant Colonel, uh, thank you very much for making time for KUSI. We wish you a safe day. Thank you, God bless. The opening